I'm Kendra Wilkes, and I'm a mother of two, and a wife, and a physical therapist. When my children were six and eight, I was living an active, healthy life. I started having some stomach pain, and I just didn't feel very good. I was diagnosed with colon cancer. I had to have surgery, and then I had to have chemotherapy. Nine months from diagnosis, I was able to ride again, but my cardiovascular was so low that I couldn't quite keep up with my friends. I started building my endurance back up, and I started building trust again with my body and the bike. That felt really good. I was very excited. Five years after I was diagnosed with colon cancer, I learned that I had breast cancer. And a second diagnosis of cancer is really hard. I had to tell my family again that we'd be going through a really hard time and that mom was gonna have to go to the hospital again. And that was hard. After my double mastectomy, I was pretty frustrated with my physical ability. I didn't want to get on my bike again. I had a lot of recovery to do mental, physical. My family was all going to Crankworks in Whistler for a work trip. I wanted to be part of that, and so I went along, but not necessarily with the desire to ride my bike because I was scared and I wasn't sure that that's what I wanted anymore. I didn't want to get hurt. I didn't want to spend a summer off. But when I got there, my husband encouraged me to go meet the ladies at Ladies All Ride. They were so welcoming and encouraging. When I arrived to Ladies All Ride and we were discussing how I was scared and fearful, they met me right where I was at. Lindsay described to me how she understood fear and she lived with fear and she's a professional cyclist. And I thought, well, if she lives with fear, then I can live with it too and maybe I can overcome it as she has. Doing it on my own terms, not doing it for anyone else, working through my own fears, not by myself, but with women and people who understood how I was feeling. The questions I have now for myself are different. Do I want to ride for me? Or do I want to ride for my family? Or do I want to ride to be competitive? The fear can immobilize you and can control your bike riding, your life, all the other aspects. If we let it and if we face fears, I think we can learn a lot about ourselves. I'd like to teach my family and my friends how to face their fears and come out the other side better for it.